Hey guys, my name is Amber, I'm 18 years old and I play Habbo Hotel. I recently posted a video titled Habbo vs Channel 4 and I talked about recent things that have happened in the hotel and I gave my views and opinions on what I thought was wrong and right. So if you haven't watched my video, here is what happened. Channel 4 producer Rachel went undercover posing an 11 year old girl on Habbo Hotel. She then made a report on a sexual and pornographic content that was within the hotel. Since this, m numerous reports have been filmed and aired which has sent Ho Habbo Hotel into panic. Habbo CEO Paul has muted the Habbo community and there is a silent protest that is taking place within the hotel. Since then, two of the biggest investors into Habbo have pulled their um, percent out of the company and they have withdrawn their services. Um, while this has been happening, WH Smith, Tesco and Game have also removed the Habbo prepay cards from their shelves. If you want a more detailed report, then please go to the Channel 4 News website and find stuff on Habbo then. Or if you want to watch my previous video, then the link will pop popping up around here-ish. Since the report, Channel 4 have been showing a lot of comments that users have um, given to them about their thoughts and their views on Habbo Hotel, but most of them have been negative against the hotel and there aren't very many positives which I think is unfair. As I said in my last video, I think both opinions should be uh, shown equally. So this is some of the comments that have been posted on my video um, and some people's feelings and thoughts. Um, this is totally personal to them. Um, their names will be up and feel free to go and talk to them. But um, this is some of the comments that I found on my YouTube videos. I've been on Habbo for so many years and yes, it's changed a whole lot, but what hasn't changed is the community factor. I've met so many amazing people who understand me more than some people in my actual life do. There are going to be creeps everywhere you go, and targeting Habbo and trying to take it down will not stop these kids from doing sexual things they do. Like you said, it's a choice. Ignore, kick, delete. It is there, so do it. It isn't their fault that people find their ways around these filters. They clearly warn users about the dangers of meeting people on sites such as MSN and Skype, but the kids not being watched by their parents are too stupid to listen. Suit Lake's fault? No, it's the kids and their parents for not watching their activity. Also the people abusing the right of free speech fault is fault, but Habbo does a good job in suspending and muting. Channel 4 should definitely watch this. Their report was appalling and aggressive. Not only was it biased, but it was also inaccurate. Your point on Rebecca Newton was a great example. Yes, chat room moder moderation needs to be looked at in general, but I think the UK media industry should be investigated because instead of addressing important issues, they have decided to badmouth the company. There is something wrong with that. Nice one, good point. I agree with what you say and I'd strongly advise Habbo slash Shoot Lake to up, up the age limit to 16 plus. People who play this know that you only get talked to how C4 was showing is if you go to these explicit name rooms and if you're looking for it. On the other hand, media may have a vendetta with Habu in some way, as they surely know that the one-sided argument was completely inappropriate and could just be corporate Illuminati. Because I don't want to be biased towards uh, Channel 4's negative views on Habu, there was one uh, or two negative points um, basically giving their opinions against um, Habbo and for C4, which this is what I'm going to read now. The lack of moderation I isn't difficult in moderating rooms which are blatantly underage sex acts. Large room with beds, kissing and booths, and the CEO makes out there's way too much text to look at, but he's on about every single line, not the rooms knowing for cybering. It's so easy to moderate if you concentrate on certain rooms. The parent and child's company are at fault if the child is breaking the law, not C4. So I see where you're coming from, and this is a good video. However, there should be no sex rooms in the first place. Moderators should check these rooms and check what kind of furniture is in them. Beds, dating, lonely teenagers who haven't found themselves yet. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what's going to happen. I personally believe Suit Lake needs to act on this. They haven't been doing enough, and while C4 news article is in somewhat co incorrect due to them not understanding the game properly, the issues addressed are real, and any pedo can go on there, chat up a girl, and nothing will be done. I would give more negative views um, to basically make it a fair shout on each of them, but I don't have any more negative views on my video at this moment. I still want Habbo to do. To, I still want Habbo to react and do a report showing equal pros and cons of being on Habbo. Um, 
I think it's only fair just to give it a fair chance to redeem itself, try and get back some of its self-respect. Um, in the meanwhile, um, we're still under the Harrow Mute, I believe. I haven't been online yet, so I might just quickly check that. Um, but yeah, subscribe to my channel, add Deep Meaning on Habbo, um, add Twitter, I, it's Deep Meaning on Twitter as well. Um, basically just be kept updated on what's going on, I will try and keep you guys updated. But yeah, comment, subscribe, um, do what you like, please be mature in the comment section and post your views with maturity, do not make any death threats because that has seemed very immature and inappropriate and I'm sure Habbo would appreciate it if you kept the death threats to a minimal. This is a message I got through my YouTube inbox from Epically Failed One. Um, what does Habbo mean to me? Well for starters, I guess it'd have to be sharing memories with your friends, competing for the prizes and that. Habbo was my childhood and it's still a part of my life. I will log in and try the new updated snowstorm or go and look for the really cool telephrases and mazes and plenty more. As for people looking for pedos, I'm sure plenty of others had said this before like me, but what about IMVU? They allow little girls to dress like sluts and have cyber with men that are old enough to be their grandfathers. Habbo is a really great site. People just need to open their eyes and think outside the perverted box. Thank you, Amber, for letting me be in the video. I hope to see you around the hotel soon. I almost forgot one more quick thing, guys. Please, can you go to Greg Walker 101 um, YouTube to check out his video response to my video um, where he expresses his views and his opinions and his experiences on Habbo. So he is in the video responses at the bottom of the YouTube page. Um, so please click on that and have a look at his video. Um, come to my room and usually down in there on my own. So yeah, um, subscribe, comment below, and keep the chat clean. See you guys later.